Good evening, South Africa and Zimbabwe, and also Southern Africa. We'd like to welcome you to another Global Education Webinar event. Um, we've got one of our key partners, and really excited to have them showcased today. Um, you're going to learn a little bit more about Illinois. The university is called Illinois State University. Um, I think you're very going to be very interested in learning the opportunity that they've got, and not just the opportunity, but what you're going to get out of it. And um, as always, with all our counseling, with all the advice that we do from, ed from education side of it, straight through to the visas, it's about finding the best option for you and what's going to help excel your career to that next level. So we've had a whole bunch of webinars during this into series, and we'd like for you to um, pay attention, ask any questions, don't be shy. Um, the webinar is recorded, and we will um, share it to all the schools as well. And if you do want any further material, please do email us, the university, um, Whitney, who's the Associate Director of Recruitment and Marketing, and um, who's you know, happy to help us out today and present a little bit more um, about the university and, and what it takes to get in as well. So without further ado, Whitney, um, I'm gonna keep quiet and um, the floor is yours. Thank you so much. Um, thank you for the wonderful introduction. Um, as said, my name is Whitney Miller, and I work here at Illinois State University in our international student offices. So it is my job to answer all of the questions that you have about my university and hopefully help you attend our university one day. So let me start by sharing my screen. I do have a short presentation for you. Um, okay, we should be good to go. So just a quick overview of what I'm going to talk about today. I'm going to give you a brief introduction to our location, um, an overview to Illinois State University, talk a little bit about our student experience here, and then go into our academics and then talk about admissions, tuition fees, scholarships. And then, of course, we'll have time for a Q&A if you do have any questions. So. If you have questions as I'm talking, feel free to put those in the chat or the Q&A, and we will get to them at the end. So location, Illinois State University is, you guessed it, in the state of Illinois here in the United States. We are located in Bloomington Normal, um, which is a twin city that is right in the heart of the state of Illinois. Our location has a lot of different opportunities for students, because not only is it a very safe, very welcoming community, I personally love living here, it is also very close to two major cities, just two hours from Chicago, which is the third largest city in the United States, and about two and a half hours from St. Louis. So being this close to two major cities means that there's a lot of internship, a lot of job opportunities, right in our backyard. But also because we're further outside of these two major cities, it is a very affordable place to study, which is great for students because you're able to save some of that money and really get a good return on your investment in your education. Bloomington Normal has everything you could possibly need. Um, we have an uptown, we have a downtown, movie theaters, places to go shopping, grocery stores, Really everything you could want and need is right in the backyard of your university. To give you an idea, um, we do have some really strong rankings that I love to highlight. We are rated the number one best city for recent college graduates in the entire United States. The reason for that, of course, is the cost of living here in Bloomington Normal, but also because of those large amount of job opportunities that our students have. We are also rated the number one happiest city in the entire United States. Again, has to do with the affordability here, but also with the cost of living, um, the salaries that are paid here are quite high, and also just the welcoming community. There's always something going on, always something to do, and everyone is very friendly um, and wants to say hi. We're also rated the number three best small college town in the United States and the number one best small city overall in the United States. So very, very strong rankings to highlight our small community here. Um, and I hope you can come and see why we hold these rankings yourself. 
So I've talked a little bit about the affordability, um, but just to give you an idea of how affordable it is to live here in Bloomington Normal, the average cost of rent um, for our students is about 500 to $600 per month. Um, however, many of our students actually pay less than that. If you have a room for yourself, if you're renting an apartment, you have your own room and you're sharing those common areas with your roommates, such as the kitchen, living room, um, bathrooms, et cetera, the average cost of rent goes down significantly. Rent can actually be found for as little as $350 per month. Cost of food is similarly, um, similarly affordable here. Um, so a good budget for students living off campus um, is right around $1,000 a month, but it can get a lot less than that or even more if you are living a more extravagant lifestyle. If you are interested in going to the major cities, it's very, very easy to get back and forth. Just a five minute walk from our campus, you will find Uptown Station, which is our local train and bus station here in the city. The buses will take you many different places, including Chicago O'Hare International Airport, which is that uh, major airport in the state of Illinois and a huge hub in the United States. Um, all the way to our regional airports, which is just a 15 minute drive from campus, um, and many different cities around the area, as well as all over Bloomington Normal for free for you. But the train will take you directly to downtown Chicago in just two hours and directly to downtown St. Louis in two and a half hours. The best part about that for you is there's no traffic involved because you're sitting on a train, there's nothing blocking those train tracks. Um, and you can do schoolwork or even just rest on your way to the big city. Like I said, I, I mentioned that we are rated the number one best city for recent college graduates. And part of that is because of the huge number of job opportunities that are afforded to our students. Right in Bloomington Normal, within a 10 minute drive of campus, we have two corporate Fortune 500 headquarters. Um, that is Country Financial and State Farm Insurance. So those companies are actively recruiting our students for both internships and jobs after graduation. And we have numerous other major companies that are located in Bloomington Normal who also recruit students. Not headquarters, um, but huge manufacturing areas here. Um, including AT&T, which will be moving in next year. But within a three hour drive of campus in many directions, you can find not one, not two, but three major cities, including Indianapolis, um, for those job opportunities. Illinois itself, if you're staying in the state, has the fourth most Fortune 500 corporate headquarters in the United States. And a lot of that is thanks, of course, to Chicago. Um, like I said, it's the third major city in the United States, so you have a lot of access to internship and job opportunities, and many students will spend a summer up in Chicago doing internships during their degree. With all of these job opportunities within a very, very close area of our university, um, as well as all of the support that we offer here at Illinois State University, including our career center, dedicated internship coordinators that cover every department on campus, um, and the pragmatic curriculums that we have that really prepare students hands-on for the careers that they are looking to get once they graduate. Because of course we understand the reason you are here getting this degree is to get your dream job once you graduate. So, we offer a lot of that support for our students. And because of all of this support, 80% of all of our international students are, who have graduated from the university are using their OPT, meaning they are studying or working here in the United States on their student visa within three months of graduation. So a huge success rate for our students who are interested in working here in the United States once they graduate. If you have questions about the regulations about, can you work in the United States once you graduate? Answer is yes, you can. 
Um, and we can talk a little bit more about that during the Q&A if you do have questions about it. So moving to our university specifically, Illinois State University is the oldest public university in the state of Illinois. We were founded in 1857. Um, and today, after over 150 years of history, we are ranked the number 57 best national university in the United States. We also hold the top 10% best college for the money, which means that you will get a very strong return on your investment, very affordable tuition, and very strong job opportunities once you graduate. Overall, we have every year right around 21,000 students enrolled, which is seems like a huge, huge number, I'm sure, but it's actually about a medium-sized university here in the United States. And we have about 5% international students overall. So very strong international population um, here on our campus. So I wanted to talk a little bit about our student experience. What can you expect as a student here? So first, I wanted to start with a picture of our campus. Um, it is over a thousand acres, um, which means it's a very large campus that we have, but it's also very walkable. If you were to walk all the way from the bottom of this screen, all the way to the top where you see those sporting fields up there, you could probably do that walk in about 20 minutes without stress. So it's very easy to get back and forth between any of your classes that you have here on campus. Additionally, living, if you see all of these yellow circles, those are highlighting student housing. So for our bachelor students, you will live on campus for two years. Master students don't have the opportunity to live on campus, but don't be concerned. There is a lot of housing right next to campus, right across the street from campus. In every direction, you will find student housing. We also have a number of recreation facilities, uh, food facilities, um, and other facilities on campus that are state-of-the-art and there to support you. If you are living on campus, just to give you an idea, you will most likely have a roommate. Um, and the rooms are set up like this, where you have half the room and your roommate has the other half. Um, and you are required to live on campus actually for two years um, if you are a bachelor's student. Um, but this really does, I, I personally love living on campus because you really make friends that way, um, really make strong connections. And it's, it's almost a rite of passage here in the United States, which I highly recommend. You also have the opportunity as a student to do research. We highly recommend this. Every department on campus offers some sort of research opportunity. This research, whether you're a bachelor's, master's, or even a doctorate student, really allows you to add to your resume, help you get that job opportunity, but also give you that hands-on experience in areas that are up and coming, such as artificial reality, augmented virtual reality, um, 3D design in the computer science areas, um, psychology research, educational research, the list goes on. There are so, so many opportunities. I talked a little bit about facilities. We have a lot of great facilities that are available to all of our students. Um, I wanted to highlight our fitness center um, because it's actually rated one of the best fitness centers out of any university in the United States. Um, Three-story rock climbing wall, indoor pool, indoor track, large um, area for weightlifting as well as cardio machines um, that are open to you. Also offers free fitness classes such as fitness, kickboxing, um, Zumba, a lot of different classes that are all free for students. Um, this is just one of our amazing facilities that we have on campus. We also have a library, student center, tech center. So if your computer crashes, and you need it to be fixed, they'll help you fix that for free. Um, so a lot of different facilities that you can take advantage of. Finally, um, of course, during your degree, one of the things that you wanna do is make friends and connections here in the United States. 
We have more than 400 registered student organizations on campus that you can take advantage of. These are everything from subject specific educational, um, such as business clubs, computer science clubs, um, that you can take advantage of and add to your resume that way, to clubs that are just for fun. For example, um, a hammock club where you put up a hammock, that's the picture you see here, you put up a hammock in the trees um, and you just hang out and talk with people. Also have, of course, really amazing sport opportunities from varsity teams. We are an NCAA Division I athletic school, meaning that top tier of athletics, all the way to club sports where you are just playing amongst fellow students for fun. So if you like football um, or American football or um, tennis, for example, all of these are opportunities for you while you are here on campus. So whether you're looking to add to your resume, make friends, um, or even just have fun and have a good time, those registered student organizations are there to help. And honestly, anything that you could possibly imagine. And then right next to campus, you will find Uptown Normal, um, where you'll find little boutiques for shopping, coffee shops, restaurants, a place to get your hair cut, um, so pharmacies, for example, so everything you need is right next to campus or even held within our campus. So you'll find that there's not a lot of need to branch out in the, in the surrounding areas because everything you need is right here within walking distance. If you would like to take a look at our campus or even just explore the facilities around, um, we do have this virtual campus tour um, that you can utilize. Um, we will send out the link to this after the presentation. So don't worry about scribbling this down right now. Um, or you can, of course, take a screenshot. But highly recommend taking some time to look around our beautiful campus. Um, get a feel for it, as well as some of our facilities that you can explore. So let's talk about academics. The reason that you are coming to university, um, hopefully, is going to be your major area of focus that will help get you to that job opportunity once you graduate. Illinois State has six different colleges um, that allow you different subject areas to study. We have over 150 bachelor's degrees, more than 90 master's programs, and 10 doctoral programs here on campus. I, of course, cannot talk about all of these today. We would be here for hours if I did, um, but I wanted to highlight just a few of our most um, our most interesting programs for our international student population. Starting with some notable rankings, um, our actuarial science program I'll talk about in a bit is very highly ranked. International business and insurance within our College of Business are also very highly ranked. Journalism, we have the top 10 highest paid graduates in the United States in journalism overall. Um, and a couple more to point out before we move on, audiology and speech language pathology, one of the best in the country overall. And of course, education. We were founded as an education school here in Illinois. Um, and so our education programs overall are going to be one of the top in the country. So if you are interested in being a teacher, um, whether that be an English teacher or a science teacher or any subject you can think of, Illinois State offers education programs in that area. Academics overall, we have a 19 to one student to faculty ratio here on campus and 90%, 97% of those faculty hold the highest degree in their field. What that means for you is that there is a very, very st um, strong, op strong, uh, lost where I was going with that sentence, you will most likely be taught by someone with the highest degree in their field. Very few of our courses are taught by anyone other than a faculty member that has a PhD in their area. 
We also have the top 10% graduation rate in the United States. That has to do with all of the support we have for our students here and that average class size right around 30 students. So some of our most common areas that students, um, international students are interested in start with our College of Business. In our College of Business, we have accountancy, business administration, finance, international business, management, marketing, and risk management and insurance. The ones to focus on here first are going to be accountancy. If you're a bachelor's student interested in accounting, um, we offer a bachelor's plus master's program that leads to be a certified accountant here in the state of Illinois. Most states um, have different um, varying requirements if you want to be an accountant and a certified accountant in the United States. So pay attention to the different state requirements. Um, but here in the state of Illinois and most states, you do need to have a master's in order to be a certified public accountant. What that means um, is that's usually four years plus an additional two years of study. But our combined program, you can do this in just five years have a master's in accounting in five years from the start and become that certified public accountant at the end. Next, international business. Our international business program is ranked number four overall in the United States, having to do with our International Business Institute that's housed in our College of Business um, and the opportunities that go along with that to study internationally um, while you're here learning those foreign languages as well. We are also ranked number eight best program in insurance in the United States, and that ties to the next degree that I'm going to talk about, so I'm not going to focus on that too much. But finally, our Bachelor of Science in Management program. Pay attention to what I'm about to say here very closely. Our management program at the bachelor's level is STEM designated. STEM, if you're unfamiliar, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. You're probably thinking, what does management have to do with any of these subject areas? Not a lot, um, but it's really just how it's coded in the government and what it means for you. It does not mean that you have to take more math classes or more science classes than any other subject you see here. What it means is actually when you graduate from the university and you want to work in the United States, most students get one year of work on their student visa. If you have a STEM designated degree, such as our management program, you actually have three years that you are able to work here in the United States. So really amazing opportunities. Um, if you do wanna study business to get that STEM designation and work here in the United States for even longer when you graduate, if that interests you. Finally, in our College of Business, our Masters of Business Administration is ranked number 140 best in the United States um, and very strong opportunities to get a very affordable MBA program. So if you are a master's student and you're looking for that MBA, um, we do have GMAT waivers. So you don't necessarily need that GMAT. Um, we would need your language scores and your bachelor's transcripts from when you are a student um, and coming in the full degree, all in full cost, is right around 30,000 US dollars. So very, very affordable MBA. Most are gonna cost you somewhere around 100,000. So this is an opportunity to get a very highly ranked um, degree at a very affordable cost. Actuarial science. This is going to tie into that insurance degree that I was talking about. If you are unfamiliar with what actuarial science is, it is the use of mathematics, and statistics to define, analyze, and solve risk. At its core, it is a mathematics degree. Don't be confused by that science terminology. So it is a mathematics degree, but using it to solve risk. What that means is it is used a lot in the insurance industry. There are a lot of benefits to being an actuary. So if you like math, this is a very strong degree area for you. The average salary for actuaries is over $100,000. In the state of Illinois, where we are located, it's actually over $120,000. 
um, huge growth rate and employment rate for this degree, 99.9% .9 employment rate because there are not enough actuaries to fill all the jobs that we offer. So great job security and the employment rate for this degree is incredibly high as well. So if you do like math and you have to like math to get this degree because it is a very heavy mathematics degree, um, this is a great opportunity for you. Our university, we are rated the number seven best mathematics college for the, for the money, number eight best program to study insurance in the United States, top 16 best actuarial science program. In addition to this, our international students have a 92% success rate for internships while they graduate. Um, and there's a lot of support for helping students. In addition, I already mentioned the employment rate for this degree is very high, 98% success rate for students in the last five years to be hired within one month of graduation. Many of those students actually have job offers before they even graduate. In addition to this um, really outstanding rate, um, we have even more claims to fame. We are the only school in the entire world who has won awards, all three global awards from the Casualty Actuarial Society and the Society of Actuaries and one of only two universities in the world to win the Actuarial Society University Award twice. Also one of only 32 universities globally to have um, to be recognized as a center of actuarial excellence. So amazing, amazing statistics, really great employment rates um, and recognized globally as one of the best in this area. So if you're interested in mathematics, please work with your educational counselors at Global Education and they can tell you more about this and how to be accepted. Next area is our IT department. We are ranked number 38 best in IT in the United States and we are ABET accredited, which means you're receiving that highest tier of education in the computer sciences. In this area, we have computer science, cybersecurity, network and telecommunications management and information systems. The great news about these programs overall is at the master's level, if you're interested in pursuing a master's degree in these areas, we do not require you to have a background in the computer sciences. So if you have a bachelor's degree in business or in the arts or any other subject area outside of computer science, you can still apply for these master's programs and be accepted into these master programs. The last area um, that I wanted to talk about that's very popular for our international students is our Department of Technology, which is different than our Department of IT because this one is going to be other technology outside of the computer sciences, but also some including the computer sciences. Um, computer systems technology, construction management, engineering technologies, um, graphic communications, sustainable and renewable energy, technology and engineering um, for the bachelor students. And then at the master's level, um, focusing more on the managerial skills in these areas. So project management, quality management and analytics, for example. My favorite thing about this degree is the close ties that they have with the industry. So it's a very hands-on pragmatic degree that gives you those hands-on skills that you need in this industry. You'll be working with um, wind energy, so, uh, solar energy in that sustainable and renewable energy area, um, but also then working with large robotics that is one of the areas we specialize here is those large manufacturing robotics. So we have very close ties with Caterpillar. You might recognize them from their big yellow construction machines, um, but they've donated over $100 million to our university to develop laboratories in those areas so that students have experience with those machines once they graduate. And of course, they recruit heavily from our university and often give students internships as well. 
Um, if you're interested at the master's level, that project management, quality management and analytics um, areas are very highly sought after currently. Um, if you take a second and Google project management um, jobs in Chicago, for example, you will find a huge number of job opportunities and it's that career field is growing by 33% over 10 years. So huge number of jobs opening up in that area. Finally, um, our fine arts programs, if you are interested in the fine arts are ranked very highly in the United States. Our College of Fine Arts is low, um, has about five different concentration areas, art, music, theater, dance, creative technologies, all of which are incredibly highly ranked, highly recognized in the United States. Um, but the one degree that I've noticed is most of interest to our international population is creative technologies. This degree um, has two different concentrations at both the bachelor's and master's level, which are game design and interdisciplinary. The cool thing about this degree is it's still a technology degree, but it is everything creative about technology. So our game design concentration, um, you will have opportunities to learn everything and the career outcomes are game designer, new media composer, game artist, um, game writer, storyline developer, but really learning all the skills necessary to get into this industry as a game, um, game design expert. The other side we have is our interdisciplinary, which is even more broad. Um, you could be a UI UX designer, web developer, 3D designer, artificial reality, virtual reality. Animation is huge for this degree. We have just students working with Disney, Pixar, um, Warner Brothers, all as an animators. Um, but you can also go into the film industry as a sound engineer, or sound editor, film editor. Um, and of course, going into marketing and advertising is large for these students too. Um, a great example of this is one of our alumni from this degree who is currently working as Facebook's global program manager. Um, she's an international student from Brazil, but she actually graduated with a master's degree in this area in 2008 and then went into Facebook in the marketing area from there and has grown her career to be that global program manager currently. If you are interested in applying to our university, and I hope by now you are or have piqued interest to learn more, um, I wanted to start by talking about the bachelor's level. So if you're a bachelor's student, we do not require an SAT for admissions, which is really great for you. Um, the only two things we look at for any student applying is going to be your grades and your language ability. We have very flexible entry requirements um, because we also offer an international student pathway called our international year one. While I'm talking about this, master's students, if you're interested in the master's, pay attention because the same is true for you. This pathway offers flexible entry requirements into the university as far as language skills um, and grades. What that means for you is that if you don't quite meet the language ability or the grade ability to get directly into the university, you can go through these pathway programs, which provide you a special um, support and a little bit of extra support during your first semester or your first year to enter and succeed into the university. Tuition and fees for our bachelor students is going to be right around $27,000 per year. And the good news is, is that your tuition will lock during your degree, meaning that you will not have your tuition increase for a full four years. If you're interested in scholarships, most students are. Um, we have quite a few different scholarship opportunities that you might be eligible for. My recommendation for you is to work with Global Education and your counselors there, and they can help you submit your application, but also see what are the best scholarship opportunities 
working with our university to get you those scholarship opportunities when you're applying. Going to our master students. The one thing I will say here is that requirements vary by the degree. We will definitely need to see your grades, most likely need to see a language exam from you. Um, some degrees require GRE or GMAT, some don't. Some require that you have a similar background experience, some don't. Um, so make sure that you're looking at the specific requirements that you are interested in for your specific degree. The degrees that we have that don't require any background in order to be admitted into this university are MBA, our accounting program, interior design, information systems, nutrition, our technology department that has that project management, quality management and analytics areas, um, and fashion design and merchandising. Other programs do offer some flexibility, but these are the areas that you can enter in with absolutely no background in those programs. Tuition, our master's tuition is very, very affordable. If you are entering um, for these programs, the full degree, you'll see a list of examples here. So we have our Computer science program, the full degree costs about $30,000. MBA, full degrees, right around 33. Mathematics, 28,000. Um, so you'll see everywhere from start to finish, most of our master's programs are going to cost you between 28,000 and $36,000 for the full program. Scholarships, we don't have a lot of scholarship opportunities for our master's because of how affordable our tuition is but also because we have really amazing graduate assistantship opportunities. These graduate assistantship opportunities, if you're a master's student and you do qualify for these, you do have to apply for these, but they would cover 100% of your tuition during that semester of appointment and pay you for your hours worked. So if you're looking for those really affordable graduate, oper graduate assistantship opportunities, this might be a really amazing opportunity for you um, to fund your degree. The thing to know and the thing to remember about Illinois State University, as said by one of our students, you receive a top tier education at an affordable cost in a safe, welcoming community with amazing internship and career opportunities. Our goal here at Illinois State University is to help prepare you and give you the tools you need to succeed and to get that job once you graduate. So you've heard me talk for quite some time. Um, at this point, I am going to turn it back to our host um, and help answer any questions that you might have for our remaining time. So I will stop sharing my degree and turn it back over. Whitney, um, brilliant. Thank you very much for that. I think you covered so much in that presentation in such a short time frame. So really do thank you for the time to do that. Um, first off, blown away by actuarial science. Um, yes. <laughs> those awards are incredible. Um, and that salary is making me wish I went back to school and did that. Um, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, math was good. <laughs> yeah, should have paid more attention to math in high school, I feel, right? I know, I know, right? Like, exactly. Um, so kids listening in, I know you're about to go into exams in South Africa and in Zimbabwe. So, you know, pay attention to all of that information because, you know, those subjects that you know, we all think don't really help us in the end, they actually really do. So good luck and we wish you all the best. Um, Whitney, a couple of questions from us at Global and a couple of students that have sent me through some messages here um, who are listening in on this presentation. With OPT, um, how, does it, how does that work? Do they go to student support? Um, to, how do they make those applications? And then the second question to that is, what's the type of student support that um, ISU offers to students? Is it like just a building that they can walk into? Um, do they have student advisors on the ground and, and things like that? If you go a bit more into those types of things. Yes. So 
OPT, for any of you that are unfamiliar with this, is optional practical training. You don't need to remember the name, just remember what it does. And OPT allows you to work after you graduate while still on your student visa. Like I said during my presentation, the normal time for OPT is one year, but if you have that STEM designated degree, you actually get three years of work experience while you're a student. Here at Illinois State University, um, to help support you, there is a lot of support to help you utilize this OPT. First, keep in mind that this is a legal thing that happens here in the United States. So there is legal paperwork that you have to do. So our Office of International Student Support Services, or IISSS for short, actually helps make sure that you are taking the steps necessary to qualify for OPT and to be accepted to OPT. They help you fill out the paperwork that you need to legally qualify for this and the paperwork you need to fill out once you are hired. So that's one office that is here supporting you on campus. Additionally, you have to find that job opportunity. There is no university in the United States that can guarantee you a job once you graduate. But different universities provide different support services to help you get that job. So our university, we help on multiple different levels. First, with your um, opportunity to get internships. You can also get internships while you're a student, um, both working here on campus as well as off campus. So our offices, we have 65 specific internship coordinators to help you find job opportunities while you're a student. The reason this is important to helping you get job opportunities after you graduate is one out of every two internships or about 50% of your internships will turn into full-time jobs once you graduate. So helping you get those internships is step one to helping you find those jobs. In addition to this, we have a career center that for free will help you develop your resume, your cover letters, internship skills, bring in people from Fortune 500 companies, as well as just companies here in the state of Illinois to help you with those internship opportunities and those job opportunities and are specifically looking to hire students from our university. That coupled with faculty support and helping guide you into internships and career areas that you might not even have known existed, but might be interested in, really helps our students find these opportunities. So we have a very high success rate for our international students. About 80% of those will be working here in the United States once they graduate, which is a number we are very proud of. That was a very long-winded answer, but I hope it really gave a good right. overview of what we, what we offer. Yeah. No, it definitely does. And I think um, for those that are paying attention to this and listening in, I think you gave two great points there. At the beginning, you gave a nice sort of overview of it and then really droned into why it's so important. And, you know, for me, listening to all of that, the one thing I take away from it is networking, is getting out of your comfort zone and, you know, speaking with the advisors, um, the tutors, the lecturers, um, your peers, you know, that's the network you're going to make. And um, the beauty of studying in the US is everybody's trying to do that. So everybody's going to be a little bit more open and trying to speak and network. Um, so I, I, I love that. I love what ISU and those rankings and the cost effective nature of it as well is really good. Um, you know, a lot of times when we're counseling students, it is really expensive to look at the US. Um, you know, especially with the dollar getting stronger and back on its feet, it, you know, it's only going to be a little bit harder to study overseas. So to get a 150, the ranking was 150 for the masters or um, what was that ranking for the masters, the MBA? Um, so we get that right. 140 best program. Awesome. Yeah. At $30,000. That's just incredible. Um, you know, I think it speaks for itself that as well. One of the questions that we've got for you, Whitney, is, what can students do to help with their applications for scholarships? Should they really work on their um, 
essays or just their grades or is it uh, best to do a little bit of everything work on your grades work on your essays what would be your best advice to them so really what we look for here at illinois state university first and foremost is going to be your academic success during your high school or your bachelor's if you're going into master's um and the reason for that is we believe that your grades during high school really show your dedication to your education. Mm -hmm. So first and foremost, getting those great grades while you're a student. However, our best scholarship for our, for our bachelor's students is $11,000 per year, equaling $44,000 overall within your degree. And that we look at holistically. We not only look at your grades, but we also look at what you've done during high school as far as extracurriculars, um, what you're interested in, those essays that you write to help support your application. So that is going to be more of holistic. We want to make sure that not only you have good grades, but you also are really interested in an active student overall. So if you're interested in the best scholarship that we offer, you should make sure to focus on those application essays, making sure that during your high school, you are really active um, and supporting your application with extracurricular activities. With that said, um, at the graduate level, we have those great graduate assistantship opportunities. There are other opportunities such as departmental opportunities for scholarships on top of our admission scholarships. Um, so if you're very strong in mathematics or in the sciences or in the fine arts, there are specific departmental scholarships you might be eligible for. So if you're interested in those further scholarship opportunities, my recommendation for you, first and foremost, work with Global Education because they actually help you not only apply and look at these scholarship opportunities, but waive that application fee as well. Um, but also um, they can work with me and you can work with me as well to make sure that you have all of the information about all of those scholarship opportunities. Yeah. Thank you, Whitney. I thought that was just, yeah, it's so, it's so much, it's so much better. And I love these virtual events where we can just click of a button, get you guys in front of us rather than waiting, you know, once or twice a year where we get to see you in South Africa and hopefully yes. we'll be able to see you um, soon once we can all travel and um, move out of this pandemic in South Africa as well. Um, I'm going to put our contact details on the screen for just everybody that is listening in on this recording. Um, by all means, take a screenshot of the barcode. It'll lead you directly to us. Um, we're available anytime. Um, we work through to Saturdays as well. Um, we're here to help. So first of all, prioritize your exams. You're in the exam periods to all of our students. So good luck. Um, and do reach out to us and we'll daddy have another conversation. We even get you a one-on-one -on -one with Whitney if, um, you know, Whitney and we have a group of students that would like to go to Illinois. Um, it's a great place. I'm sitting in Ohio in the Midwest. Um, it's a beautiful place and Illinois has got so much more big city vibe as well. So please do reach out and Whitney, I'll let you close off this webinar with any last um, minute tips or points that you'd like to say. Yes. Um, first, thank you all for joining or even watching this after the fact. Um, it is on a Friday, I understand. So if you're busy and you're watching this later and you do have questions that we haven't answered, please don't hesitate to reach out to Global Education or myself. They can help you get um, my contact information to make sure that you have all of the information and your questions answered. Finally, my last piece of recommendation is please do not hesitate to apply. If you're interested, make sure to apply. Um, and see, see if your applications are successful, see what scholarships can be offered to you. And if Illinois State University is not the right fit for you, work with Global Education and they can help find a school that does suit your needs and everything will work out 
and I wish you all the best in your educational pursuits in the future. Thank you, Whitney. Thanks, everybody. Keep safe and happy Friday. Happy Friday, everyone. <laughs>